Hey all, I'm Pastor Sean. Thanks for tuning into the Word of the Day. Today, we'll be talking about vocational transformation. The passage is in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. Key phrase here is trust in the Lord. Trust is an extremely important quality to have in any successful and thriving relationship. Apparently, the relationship between the creator of the universe and our work life is no different. You see, for us to be successful and have straight paths toward victory, blessing, and good favor in the workplace, all starts with trusting God more and more. I love how the author leaves no room for half-hearted trust here. If we are going to trust in the Lord with all of our heart, in all of our ways acknowledge Him, or in the NIV it says, in all of our ways submit to Him, we can't go back to leaning on our own understanding. That begs the question, what is our understanding? To me, it's that safety net that we put around our jobs, the thing that we think protects us from any harm and maybe even gives us job security. But it also seems to keep the need for God at a minimum. Check this out. Maybe your understanding is that you must make more money. And to do that, you need to step on a few people to get there. Maybe your understanding is that you need job security. So you tell a little lie about your job competition or start a little workplace drama to make yourself look better. Maybe your understanding is that you, to be successful at work, you need to sacrifice time with your family and eventually you become an absent parent. Maybe your understanding is that you have a reasonable five-year plan to get you where you need to be in whatever industry you're in and nothing will get in the way of it, not even God. About eight months ago, back in California, I was sitting in my room with my wife and my three-month-old baby. I'm going to be honest, we were not in a good mood. We were crying, we were praying, and we were talking. You see, we had just gotten a very clear sign from God that it was time to move on from my ministry position of six years. And we were extremely conflicted because on one hand, we had this very clear sign to go. But on the other hand, we didn't have any sign of where God wanted us to go. Every thought was racing through my mind. Was this the end of my time in ministry? Did I need to go back into construction? Had I failed God in my calling? Eight months ago, my wife and I were left with a choice. And in this moment, I was either to trust God with all of my heart and go, or lean back on our own understanding and stay. You see, I had a five-year plan. I did. We were saving up to buy a house, get a job promotion, have more kids, raise them near their grandparents, near their uncles, their aunts, and their cousins, have them go to the same schools we went to, walk the same California streets. I walked. My plan was comfortable, easy to understand, and I never thought God would lead me away from that plan. And I'll tell you what. I never planned to live in Lake Havasu, Arizona. I hear it's really hot here. Uh, but God, God gave me the choice in that moment to trust him with all of my heart and put my plans to the side or to lean back on my comfortable understanding. And I chose to trust him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Do you know the difference between walking on a straight path or walking around corners? On a straight path, you can see exactly where you're going. God puts us on these straight paths so we can see his vision, direction, and blessings clearly for our life. But all of that starts with trust. And I'll be honest, having recently made a leap of faith, I know it's not easy to do or to continually do, especially when our livelihood is on the line. But time and time again, God has proven to be a promise keeper. And I speak from experience. He has not only made my path straight, but he has blessed me with a new ministry and a renewed passion for what I'm doing, all while caring for me and my family in the process. Part of making God, part of God making our path straight is also him being the one to sustain us on those paths. God blesses though who trust him. And it doesn't mean everything has been easy or fun. Work tends to be like work. But following God in our jobs leads us to better places. So if God is calling you to trust him when it comes to your work, do it. 
If you find yourself lost, maybe without purpose in your job, learn to trust God in finding that purpose. If you find yourself coming to church and acting one way and then going to work as a completely different person, maybe you need to learn to trust God with all of your heart and submit, him, submit to him in all of your ways. One of the best things you could do for yourself right now, no matter where you're at in this trusting God process, ask yourself this question, in what areas of your work life do you not trust God already? And make a list. Is it your attitude, your employees, your management style, financial decisions, location? Is it about resigning, promoting, firing? Heck, what color should you paint your office? God wants you to trust him with all of your heart and submit all of your ways, no matter how big or small those things might seem. So once you get your list, pray over it. Bring it to your small group and have them pray over it. Bring it to your spouse and have them pray over it. Pray like there's no work tomorrow unless you learn to trust God in those areas. Because trust is that important to God. So I hope you learn to trust him with all of your heart at work so you can flourish in his plan and he will make your paths straight. God bless.